All right, guys, it's Booker, it's Chelsea, it's Crystal B, and the fourth member of our show, yes. Dua Lipa. How are yeah, you? Yes, thank you so much for having me. It's I'm nice good. to see you. Thank you. It feels good to be to be back. Yeah. Um, and doing promo and talking about new music. And yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm very happy to be here. Has the promo gear kicked in yet? Oh, it has, but uh, I'm I'm just so happy to, to do it. Um, it just feels like the beginning of like the like the last campaign when I'm just starting to talk about all the new music. So it's all it's all fresh and it feels good. How do you keep it fresh when uh, every single person asks the same question, especially when it comes to like, hey, when's your album coming out? Well, I guess in in instances like that, the the answer stays the same. <laughs> you know, I try and and make different answers for everyone to try and keep it interesting for you know the fans that are watching at home but sometimes you know especially when I'm talking about like the meaning of the song or whatever like that's not gonna change mm-hmm. so I, I try and and spice it up a bit but um, I guess that's just kind of what the, the promo run is a bit <laughs> The promo is, we can't tell you what it is. is that's uh-huh. the basic answer. Okay, we'll stick with that. Chels? What are, with this DL2, obviously everyone's so excited. What are you most looking forward to with this era for you? Um, well, it's just, it's quite different to the last one. Um, it's really fun. There's a lot more, like, dancing in it. There's, um, it's, I don't know. I just wanted to have a lot of fun with it. I definitely don't give myself a second to breathe through the whole album when I think about performing it on tour, because mm-hmm. um, it's it's pretty much all upbeat. Yeah, um, it's all like disco influenced. Mm-hmm. It's got influence like nostalgic influences. It's kind of it touches on the eighties. It's it's just a fun ride, I think, and I'm I'm looking forward to just kind of bringing that world to life. I heard you described it as a a disco exercise class, like a dance exercise, which class. makes me so yeah. happy. <laughs> when you went into it, did you know that's what you wanted to create, or did it kind of organically happen? Well, I knew what the album title was going to be, which I will announce next month. Ah. Oh, oh, announce um, it here. That's same, what you need to do. Um, is it the same when you tweeted a year ago? That you said you, you tweeted you knew what it that was. I knew what it was. Is yeah, it, it is. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I, I worked backwards. Like I knew what my album title was going to be, and then I worked backwards on all the songs. And it's it's just the whole album has more of a theme, um, and yeah, I, the the album title will explain the theme okay. of the song. So it all makes sense. <laughs> Once again, we can't. I tell know. You. There's there's too much of like I can hint at it, but I can't fully tell you. It's more it's more for the like. I, it's my first time that I get to keep things a secret. Mm-hmm. And last time around, like I was touring while I was making videos, while I was releasing music, like people already kind of knew what was to come. Whereas this is the first time that I really get to surprise people with what's with what's next, and um, you know, throwing a date out there when I don't want to upset fans in case <laughs> anything changes right. yeah. or whatever. Like I just. All I know is the album is finished. I'm starting to release music, so the album will come next year. I would say you're edgy pop, if that's. I don't know if that's a term. Right. It's a lot. It's it's edgier. It's not syrupy. Put it that way. How do you keep that edge? And will you continue that with this record? Um, I mean, I'd like to think so. I think when I started um, working on this album, it was a lot of trying to do whatever I haven't been hearing on the radio mm-hmm. and trying to do something that felt different, something that would keep it fun for me, something that, you know, people would might be surprised that I'm doing um I didn't want to recreate what I did on the first record I wanted it to be a a very clear step um in a different direction not in the pop sense because I'm always going to make pop music it's what I love to do Mm -hmm. it's just creating it in a way that feels authentic and real to me um and that for me was kind of going off the back of you know electricity and one kiss which was so nostalgic and I found myself so comfortable in that kind of world and I wanted to have my own take on it and and grow in that instance and because I'd been touring for like three years um I wanted this album to be more instrumental and and have more of a live feel to it which the first record was more electronic in that sense Mm -hmm. so it's it's definitely a step in in a different direction but at the same time I feel like Maybe it's it's me that keeps it cohesive to hmm. to the work previously. This morning was the uh, Grammy announcements day. Yeah, you've uh, you've already graduated from that class. <laughs> <laughs> what was the wildest thing when you look back on the Grammys and you think about that whole thing being nominated? Going to the show, oh, yeah. winning at the show. Lizzo had a big morning this yeah. morning. 
What do you feel for them? What goes through your mind when we say Grammy? Because that was kind of you so, last year too, right? Yeah, I mean, last I, I I had messages being like, "Wow, it's so crazy how it's been a year since since the last Grammy nomination." And um, I mean, on the day I was like crying all day because uh-huh. I couldn't believe what happened, and I was also drinking champagne while crying. <laughs> I love that same time. It was like <laughs> celebrating and crying at the same time. Um, it was it, it's it's so amazing because I, I feel and, and I feel like most artists will say this is you know you don't go into this career for the accolades mm-hmm. you don't go in to you know get these awards getting a recognition like this means so much still regardless of that because you're being recognized by your peers and especially as you're seeing the committee grow it is filled with songwriters and artists and people that are a part of this community and that work every day in order to be able to bring the music that people hear on the radio and um it's it's I, I guess it's that recognition from the people that you work with in your surroundings that makes it even more special and you know it is the you know the most prestigious um you know a award that you could get in in the music industry and i i'm just so happy to see again for this for another year running so many women mm-hmm. being recognized mm-hmm. especially in the best new artist category because it just it's so nice to see change and to see all these i mean i'm such a fan of all the girls mm-hmm. um and and you know i i'm just i'm just so happy for them yeah and i know what that feeling is like and i i'm I definitely think it's tough because they're all amazing. Um, so it's it's, but it just feels good. I think I think they're probably really proud to be a part of the change mm. as well. Speaking of women that are amazing, and you said this, and I think everyone's freaking out about how you want to work with Miley Cyrus. Yeah, coming up here in the future. Have you guys talked about it at all or had that conversation? Uh, yeah, we've spoken about it uh, a little bit. I, I know she was like dropping like a few EPs, and we were going to work on something together, but I summer just got really crazy and our schedules got insane I was kind of preparing to put new music out and everything but we definitely want to do something in the future we're gonna try and figure it out I mean I love her I'm such a fan of Uh of hers and um, I think she's amazing and outspoken and she doesn't care oh yeah (laughs) and I I love that about her I think that's amazing and we need more of that Speaking of new music, you come from a musical family. So when you're preparing something like a new album, is like dad involved in the songs that might make the album? Does dad get to hear everything first? And my kind whole of approve? family is involved in it. My both my parents and my little brother and sister. Um, I they get to hear everything from like demo version, like literally the day after I write things. Wow. Um, I share it with them like throughout the whole process and you know sometimes they like songs that I don't feel like should be on the record and at the end of the day I choose <laughs> <laughs> good you go um, against them you're just I like think, well. I think it's just um, especially with this album it's like I wanted everything to feel cohesive I wanted to like in multiple songs like use the same string so you would just feel like everything feels you know a part of like one body of work and sometimes that was like oh but this song is so good but mm-hmm. I'm just like it just doesn't work uh-huh. in the sense and it, the, the song you know it it will it will find its time or it will find a home somewhere else you know later down the line but you know for, for me it was just really creating a body of work that felt like cohesive when you were young and you have a a dad that's into music Mm -hmm. did music ever become like a homework for you was it ever did you always get along with it It yeah I loved it I loved it I mean I guess to begin with it was like singing in the living room playing all the music dancing making up routines Mm -hmm. like just for, for the fun of it um seeing things on on tv and seeing artists on tv because you know seeing my dad do do music in kosovo is very different to the music industry in in the uk and in the us and just kind of learning how that navigates and how it works was a like a learning process i didn't even know anything right about it you know um whereas you know when i was a kid watching it on tv seemed as unrealistic as watching cartoons you know i was just huh. like that that looks great and i'd love to do that but i have no idea how to even get to get to that point and so it was when i moved to kosovo um and then i was like 14 15 and it, it's one of those things where it's like you want what you can't have mm-hmm. and i felt like i couldn't do what i wanted to do in kosovo like on, on a global scale mm-hmm. um so i was like okay i have to be in london where everything is happening 
And so that's... Do you have friends from back then still? Yeah, of course. You do as Yeah, well. yeah, yeah. I mean, all, all my friends, my closest friends are my best friends from school that I grew up with. Um who, when I go back home, like I'm, I'm always with them. I spend every New Year's with them, like Aww. everything. Like they're my best, they're my sisters. Have they changed, and, or are um, they like blown away by what's happened with you? It's all, again, it- it's like with my family, with my friends too. Like we've all grown together, and it's been fun to have their support. And at the same time, like they just keep me so grounded because to them, I'm just me, mm-hmm. and they yeah. will still like make fun of you make fun of me exactly <laughs> all the same and my parents will still tell me off and it's it's all very like n- like my home life is really normal uh-huh. and and I and I really love that I was reading fun facts about you online and yeah. it's it's fun to read fun facts because you never know if they're really true or not okay I'm interested to, okay to okay so facts. let me run these by you true or false your parents shaved your head when you were six years old yeah well I wasn't saying <laughs> Yeah, I was maybe a little bit. I actually it was so please funny because my mum um, sent me a picture. Yes, oh, please no. explain oh, the gosh. story and show us this it, photo. It's funny because she literally sent it to me. If like, the answer is lice, I'm gonna yeah. laugh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was because my hair was so thin, and so it was like, okay, this is what's gonna. Wait, I sent it to my. <laughs> I can't believe she has the picture. I know. I love it. I'm so excited we about need this. Boy, I'm try it. Here we go. Oh my, like oh my gosh! Oh my god! You're adorable. You're though. still Look so how cute. cute you are. <laughs> Those lips, oh girl. <laughs> oh <laughs> my gosh! You know, some so, people. Yeah, this, it's it's true. Wow. <laughs> were you upset true. about that like, at the time? Uh, or no, like, I was okay. So young. I I had people think I was a boy, <laughs> so my mum um would just tell me to tell them that I looked like Demi Moore. Because oh, at wow. that time yep. she she had her head shaved off, so I was just like I had no idea what I was talking about or any idea who Demi Moore was at the time. <laughs> but I would just like I was like that'll show them yeah. for calling me a boy. Well, you have a really good shaped head. Like mm-hmm. I have a lumpy head. I can never be bald. So <laughs> there you go. And um, there's only one way to tell. Yeah. You have no to hell no. To, like, see. <laughs> That's a negative. <laughs> um, okay. Another thing that I read at 11, you were told by a music teacher that you couldn't sing. Yeah, um, I, I basically I auditioned for the school choir and didn't get in. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Have you seen that wow. teacher since? No, and like, I no. I now, haven't. do you send this person a Christmas card every year or something <laughs> no, from your record I, label? Honestly, I'm not going to be bitter. Yeah, I think it's it, everything is like part of part of the the process and the journey and. Yeah. I oh, feel like I'm, you have those people in life that are sort of like your motivation. Yeah, too, of course, way, you know. Of course, I'm definitely. very petty. I would be sending that like <laughs> once a month. There's no question about it. Send them the album. Yeah, send them the new album when it drops. Yeah. What a you great performance. <laughs> <laughs> what a great performance you had on the, what are those, the EMAs? EMAs? Oh my yeah. God. I don't even know what EMA I've, stands for. European but, Musical Awards. Well, whatever. This is America. Oh. We, we don't care about other countries. <laughs> but it was the most beautiful. It's just it was a so great, good. like killer performance. Thank you so much. You know, when you're coming Coming down steps and things like that. Are you scared to death? I mean, what does go through your head when you're doing a big show like that? Um, I definitely get nervous yeah. before stage, and uh, my knees were shaking literally before really? it started. And I was before before it all kicked off. I was literally telling my or I was trying to send a message to my knees, <laughs> being like, "Stop, stop!" And no matter how much I tried, my right. knee was still doing Aww. this. Oh my gosh! Um, but I think once once I got going, then I was fine. I was because your outfit was amazing, but I was like, I would be worried that there would be like a wardrobe malfunction. Were you worried oh, at all about that? Boob tape. Yeah, yeah. But it was like tape. just so securing. Like, honestly. It's the one staple thing that you need in your wardrobe, uh, no matter what. Boob mm-hmm. tape is yep. amazing. Obviously, I have mine on right now. <laughs> Love boob tape. Do you have your boob tape for the yes, AMAs this coming weekend? Uh, I think I, I might need some okay. boob tape. <laughs> Ooh, I'm excited yeah. for that. Load up. <laughs> All right, so we don't know when an album's coming. Mm-hmm. We know it's coming. It's coming next year, for next sure. Next year. Okay. Wow. <laughs> so sometime after January 1st, we get a new album. Uh, tour, what's that look like? Tour, I will be announcing that next month. Okay. What does it look like? Have you it's, planned this in your it's head? A, it's a wild tour. Um, big? I'm, small? I'm, it's going to be big. I'm going to be touring for a long time. Uh, but it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to a lot of places. I'm going to go and see a lot of fans. Um it's definitely my biggest tour today. It's mm-hmm. going to be a full disco workout on stage. Fully. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're going for it. What All about right. collabs on the album? Confirmed? And nothing that I can speak oh. of. But that means there are some? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe it's a yes. Guys or girls? I can't. Oh, I can't. Yeah. I can't. Can you we're wink trying. or nod? I'm no, we're not talking about <laughs> <Okay>. this, guys. <laughs> no, no, no. Just stop. Next question, please. I heard a confirmation because you said guys or girls, and she said I'm not telling, so it's got to be what? 
Has to be. Yeah. See, look, sure. she's still not giving a co- I thought I had you. I thought we were, <laughs> we're the this worst. close to getting a confirmation. <laughs> They're human collabs. We, we know that. They are human collabs. Okay, great. Exclusive. <laughs> there we go. It's happening for sure. All right. Well, thank you for coming in and thank spending so a moment much for with us. Me. That was very nice of you. Thank you for having me. Great single. Um, any other, anything? In, in summary. Uh, I was just going to ask, I, I heard that you had that, a tattoo party recently. I did, yeah. What is your first tattoo and maybe like your most random tattoo? Uh, my first tattoo is Sunny Hill, which I got when I was 17. It's the neighborhood my parents grew up in in okay. Kosovo. It's then it. We we also named like our foundation over there and our festival in Kosovo after that. And my most random tattoo. I don't know. I have like random. Ta- I have this like fire finger. It's <laughs> 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 um, kind of random. It's power. <laughs> yeah. I just got fire finger. <laughs> it's like my my partner, well, It's a fire finger for no apparent reason. Yeah. It's kind of random. I have like a little smiley on my pinky again for no reason. It's so wait a minute. You have your parents. parents. But how do you have no reason? Do you just go in and say, "Give me whatever"? I mean, there no. Is... I just go. Oh, I just you see put it? a smiley there. And let's just do the fire thing of that. I love it. And he goes, um, I'm so fearful of one. So she good. like goes in and I'll take the fire and the smiley thing to go. Yeah. Like, just like that. And then, let's go. But I, I, it's more about like the memory. Yeah, of course. And like where you get them done and who you get them done with or like what the situation is. Okay, last thing. You're in LA. I read that you're also a really big Tupac fan. True or false? Um, I wouldn't like say, a re- like I, I'm a fan but really big is maybe like pushing the boat out a bit. Like I, I know like a lot of his songs because um, people in Kosovo only listen to hip, to hip hop. So when mm. I was living there, I was very much like influenced by a lot of hip hop. But I think um, if somebody, the thing that worries me about saying I'm a really big Tupac fan is like if somebody gives me some Tupac trivia, I'm <laughs> you're like no, don't I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna like nail right, that. Right, right. Um, but I, I, I'm a fan of his music. Yeah. Are you living here as well? You have a place here? Uh, no. What's your go-to when you come to LA? Is there something that you always like to do? Is there a place you like to eat? Is there a place you like to hang? What do we like to do when we're here? <laughs> we work a lot when we're here. Really? I feel like LA is a like I, I LA's work for you then. Yeah, LA is is work for me. Do you ever do like the hiking thing or I I did, but then I did it so many times that I was just a bit Go bored it. of it. I was yeah. like What's next? Like beach? Um, Are you a beach girl? I do like the beach. I love going down to Malibu. Um I think that's I think that's like the the luxury of like being in LA is the the ability to just drive down for like 30 minutes and just be by the beach yeah. and it's so calming and so nice like I love that do you eat tacos when you come to LA yeah of course and you guys love taco Tuesday love. it's a thing yeah yep. so I like I tacos like, every day here tacos every day yeah. okay but I mean like I feel like this is the only place in the world that you're like taco Tuesday everybody's <laughs> <laughs> going together like, I have to do it drink <laughs> I'm like so okay true. so um, I've definitely jumped on board with that <laughs> awesome. we've taken too much of your time thank you for coming in no oh we God, have it's been I'm getting the wrap pleasure. I'm getting that we're done um, thank you for coming in thank it's you so, so nice much it's congratulations on the single you're just killing it with it and we love it and we love you thank you for coming in Thank you so much. Thank you.